Hello, Just Too Good here, and it's the return of the catalog videos. Um, I, I just bought a whole bunch of catalogs. If you guys saw the most recent haul, if you haven't checked that out, that was the card. And we're going to be taking a look at them in order each week, hopefully. So this is fall 2004. And what's interesting is that they are not advertising like a specific theme in the front. Instead, they're advertising creator sets. So I guess that maybe is a specific theme, but it just says Titans vs. Dinosaurs. And this is one of their first shop at home catalogs. Before this, they had those little rectangular catalogs that I've covered a lot in these different videos. But uh, this is one of the first of the more traditional versions that we get nowadays because we still get these. And you can see that on the side they have that Lego car set, um, or sorry, Lego truck set, which is very rare. I actually have it sealed. It's 15 buck value, but it was a threshold promo by ordering $75 by October 11th. What's rare about it is that this is the era of Lego that was really when Lego was in a slump, so not a lot of people got that. Seems like you could also get a Duplo truck. I don't know if that one's exclusive. I want to research that and see if it's as expensive as this one. Maybe it is more expensive. There's also this uh, Prehistoric Creatures set and that Titan. Those were the two on the front of the cover. They are Lego Creator or the early iteration before Creator. Um, I don't know if they were branded as Creator yet. And it says this one's $30 and then Titan XP, which I've never seen this one before, is $50. That's just a solid mech. Not really interesting to me. This is, <laughs> I don't know if they've done this after this, but Halloween costumes, holy crud. Uh, I haven't seen these advertised in the catalog before. And you got two Bionicle ones, it seems like, and also a Lego Vampire minifigure, which, yeah, that doesn't really look like the Lego Vampire minifigure. If you wore that, people wouldn't even know it's Lego related. Pretty bad. Again, this is when Lego was in a slump, so uh, you won't see the best sets, but I like a lot of these sets. This jack-o'-lantern is pretty cute. It's actually $18, so it was on sale, say 10%. It's pretty big. Uh, we also have these little pod ones. And wow, they just threw in this green goblin, and it says limited quantities, I think. Yeah, limited quantities. So this one's about to get retired, because that's from, what, 2002? And this is 2004, when Spider-Man uh, 2 was out, when the minifigures weren't even yellow anymore in the licensed themes. Also, we have the vampire keychain and ghost keychain. Clickets advent calendar. Remember Clickets? Oof, not a lot of us remember Clickets. And this Lego Creator one, which I thought I got this one, but actually I got the one from um, 2005 for City. So close enough. Uh, Technic. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, Technic's not my thing. Technic logo looks kind of bland there, though. Oh, Knight's Kingdom. This is interesting. So um, there's a two in one castle. I don't know if that's, what is it? Oh, no, that's just this big one right here. Okay. And this is called the Castle of Morcia. Um, 90 bucks. But it's a very solid one. I like that base. They stopped using that base, and that was like the classic castle set. And you see, you could get a free $20 set, of the Border Ambush set, which is shown on page 11, so we'll keep that in mind. Then they have these little side sets, um, Knight's Castle Wall and uh, Vladik's... Oh, wait, what is this called? Uh, Vladik's Siege Engine, which I've seen this one on eBay. I don't really like these moving castle-type designs. I like this one, though. I, I like, you know, also this one as well, but these are very expensive, so maybe one day I'll get them. Uh, we also have this Citadel of Orlon. Very specific names, which is interesting. They have a lot of lore here. I've seen this one a few times, too. Might get it sometime. Um, we have this uh, Vladic Encounter right here, nine bucks. This was their really their Big Bang theme. This was a huge theme, Knight's Kingdom 2. There was Knight's Kingdoms in 2000, but that wasn't as big as this one. Um, the Grand Tournament, I've seen this one, I don't really like it. Actually, I think I, I might own this one. Yeah, I might own this one. I knew it looked familiar. I, I might own it, I'm not sure. Again, not really a cool one in my opinion. This one I like though, this is like an actual cool one. I wish I got this one. Um, border Ambush. I've seen that kind of expensive on eBay. I, for Knights nice Kingdoms in general, like, I don't want to pay, like, if it was, like, a, a 90s castle thing. Like, if it was a 90s castle thing, I think it would be worth it to pay more, but Knights Kingdom, it, it seems kind of common, even though this was an era where Lego didn't sell too much and stuff like that. Uh, Knights Kingdom seemed to be the most, one of their more popular themes, so it sold well and it's more easy to get. Maybe I'm completely off with that. I do own this guy. I own this, uh, construction figure. Might own Vladek as well, but for sure I own Jaco. Also, there's a Knight's Kingdom board game, which, yeah, this is kind of interesting because it's by Rose Art, and Rose Art is now owned by Mega now, which is Mega Blocks and Mega Constructs, so kind of like working with a competitor in that way. But this was, be I think, before they owned each other and stuff like that. There's Bionicle, which this era of Bionicle I'm totally not familiar with. I'm, I'm familiar with, like, the 2001 and 2002, I think it is, but not this one. 
they looked more complex in my opinion. These looked less interesting than the 2001 and 2002 ones. They look more for older kids. And because of that, they look more technicky. They look, look more lanky. I don't know how the Bionicle fans would have, uh, feel about me saying that. Am I right? Am I wrong? Do you agree? Do you disagree? But these are way less appealing. And I'm not just talking about nostalgia basis. But like the ones that were released recently, like the reboots, are more appealing than this one. And then the old ones are more appealing than this one. Because these just look very bland and very uh, boring in their colors and boring in their builds. But that's just me. And you got even more uh, Bionicle stuff. Metro Nui. This is right before they started doing the minifigure Bionicle things, which was kind of weird. Oh, look at this, Alpha Team. And um, this was, oh, this was like my least favorite one, the ice one, because there's just a lot of vehicles here. Uh, Tundra, Tracker, Blue Eagle versus Snow Crawler. Meh. Um, Mobile Command Center. Again, these are very meh builds. Uh, I like this one, though. This one's kind of cool. $70, Ogles Mountain Fortress. Uh, the design of this, of course, the playset type ones always interest me more. But I do like some of the original Alpha Team vehicles. They look more interesting than these. Ooh, this I like, this I like, this I like. Uh, the Prisoner of Azkaban sets. It says, sold the mystery of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So, pay a visit to Hagrid's Hut. Own that one. Own that one growing up. Um, Motorized Hogwarts Express. This one's really hard to get. This was a shop at home exclusive, so it goes for a lot the regular Hogwarts Express is also hard to get too, but uh, that one's more hard to get. Also, there is the new uh, Hogwarts Castle, which every three years, sort of like what they did with uh, Star Wars, they did it for Harry Potter. This was the third, or sorry, I guess it was the fourth year of Harry Potter. So like three years since the original Hogwarts Castle was released, three years since the original Hogwarts Express, three years since the original Hagrid's Hut. So they re-released them with uh, new designs. So that's kind of interesting. And we have this one, which I have um had growing up so i don't own it um and like it's all in pieces this is actually one of the more rare ones this goes for like 150 it's it's a very uncommon set i don't know why uh this is another very rare one the shrieking shack i want this one so badly been trying to get it sealed i've missed on so many listings where like i've seen it for like 70 bucks and i'm like Ugh, i could have got it then you just have the regular hogwarts express which you could see the difference the other one was 120 this is 40 bucks can you imagine lego releasing a train now that's 40 dollars like come on uh, Lupin's Classroom, I had this growing up. Um, I love Lupin's hair. I think it looks cool. Also, we have the Night Bus, which I just reviewed recently, so you can go check that out. One of my favorite Lego sets of all time. Got it twice. Um, and then we have Spider-Man 2. Like I said, they had the Spider-Man 1 set, but now here's Spider-Man 2. And uh, these, I haven't really paid much attention to. I, I Like, growing up, I knew about them, but I only owned one, and you'll see which one in a bit. But Actually, sorry. I said I only own one, and then I literally... Wait. Yeah, never mind that. Yeah, I did only own one. I didn't own this one. This one I've been trying to get recently um, because I, I never even knew this one. Ex I like this one and the one on the right. Oh, okay, I'll get to this later. But like this one I didn't know existed really. Um, this one my friend had and I got pieces out of it. But these two are so expensive online. It's crazy. Uh, this one I knew. My friend had it. Some other people I knew had it. And like I really wanted this one. This was like the only one I knew about besides this one right here, which I had... Growing up, again, um, this one, it was the only one I had, but I liked how there was a black minifigure. I was like, well, we never had black people as minifigures, and I just thought that was interesting. And I love ambulances and builds like that, so that was cool. Um, but back then, I was like, uh, I, I didn't get the build of this, but now it's probably pretty cool. I wish I could rebuild it, but I remember, like, I had these pieces, and these are all, like, the, the, like, uh, the stress from, because they use a stamp right here. Basically, they use a sticker across multiple pieces. And it's stressed so that it's like kind of damaged. And also we had Spider-Man versus Doc Ock. So this is the one I got confused with. Because there's one, I always thought they were the same set. Sort of, I've never really paid attention to it. Because I'm like, oh, there's always that cool train set. But there's like a monorail set. And then there's this train set. So the monorail set was Spider-Man 1. And then this train set was Spider-Man 2. So I, I've never seen anybody really cover this. I don't know. Like, look at this. There's more to this set. And I have, I don't know what the rest is. Like... I gotta get a good look of this. So I've been trying to track this out recently. Very hard to get, because it's like a, come on. I mean, it's a tram. Hard as heck to uh, get for cheap. All right, what else, what, what we got here? Some racers. I was hoping they would show the four juniors ones. But uh, meh, I guess this one's remote control, RC. Uh, or sorry, radio control. And then we have World City. Um, World City was the predecessor to Lego City. This is, this one has always kind of interested me, this set, because look at this, base plate. Well, I call these raised plates, actually. But 
there's like these weird rock for like it's it's such an unconventional weird design i don't know what's going on there uh crook's hideout i like this set for one reason i actually don't like the boat but i love that little just kind of docking uh station right there that's kind of cool I, I i've wanted that one for a while just because of that this one i don't care about this one i actually own i've reviewed this it's, i think it's one of the only lego city world city sets i've, I've reviewed um, this one I think I, I had growing up, so I've had that one, that was only four bucks, and then there's this Mobile HQ, which Lego does a bunch nowadays, and a Rescue Chopper, which is like, whatever. There's still some interesting ones. Uh, it looks like we just got, a, like, a smorgasbord of crap right here. Uh, designer sets, uh, Technic is thrown here, and then they just put the, the NBA sets. Again, these did not sell well. Look, it's already on sale. 60 bucks, save $25. Ah, man, if I could pay 60 bucks for this seal nowadays, I would take it. But this goes for like $400 seal now. It's ridiculous. Same with this one. Oh my gosh, the NHL stuff is like non-existent. The only NHL stuff you find is those crappy, technic, like, it's not even construct. I don't even know what builds they are, but they're not minifigure scale. These are so hard to find. Like this one sealed, oh man, for 40 bucks, I'd take it. Uh, then we just have some more random old stuff. Like, look, uh... Dumbledore's office is here and it's weird seeing a catalog where like we have those uh, flesh minifigures and then we have the yellow minifigures you know the, like for the same license theme but these were just kind of out of date so they had this on sale I, I do own this one and oh man privet drive for 20 bucks yeah I take that so I guess they need to get rid of these they didn't sell too well or something but oh I want that set so badly sealed this one's just another designer set um this is the original uh red or sorry not Red Baron, the Red Baron's another set. Silk with Kamal, um, and this was one that they uh, build that they actually did. What was it? Two thousand twelve, I think it was, or Soap with Camel. Sorry, I always say Kamal. Also, we have the Dragon Fortress, which uh, want that so badly, man. It's not on sale, or I would be crying if it was on sale here. But uh, yeah, this is just a set that I've wanted ever since I was young. Like I've wanted this for so many years. We'll see. Oh, wow, they have this. Jeez, they have Main Street here, which is a Lego Legends re-release. Oh man, it looks so cool for sixty-five bucks. It's pretty beautiful. Basically, Lego Legends was a theme where they re-released a whole bunch of classic sets, and that's what's going on there. Uh, we also have the Shell Car Wash, which I have the Shell series sets, but uh, or some of them. I don't own this one. I, I want the, or I, I own the convenience store, which is the best one. So I'm glad I have that. But like, I want this one. I want to put them all together. I want to rebuild the convenience store. Uh, we also have the shell car transporter, which is kind of cute. Uh, shell tanker, kind of cute. Unfortunately, Lego and shell don't partner anymore. You got some accessory packs. I might've, no, I think when I, when I used to have these catalogs when I was younger, I wanted these little community workers. I did not own them. Oh, yeah, they used to do this, right? They don't do this anymore. They stopped this, like, what, 2010? I remember seeing these all the time. But uh, basically, they would just show, like, pick a brick if you want to order specific pieces or whatever. Nice prints right here. But, uh, yeah, they just stopped doing this in later catalogs. And they have community workers again. I always wanted the Lego Chef. So, fun fact, that's why I got the 2005 City Advent Calendar. Whoa, what is that? Oh. Okay, good. Here's what it said. I thought it like had my like address or something like that, but just a nice little message from the seller. Hey, Just Too Good, thank you for purchasing the Lego Shop at Home 2004 catalog. Hey, no problem, man. Uh, more thanks, or more seasonal stuff. Uh, okay, this is kind of interesting. They just throw this uh, one order of the, f or sorry, uh, Prisoner of Ask a Man set, not even with the rest of them, but Draco's encounter with Duck Buckbeaks there. And then they throw in the final challenge right here uh, for 10 bucks, which was a 2001 set. So this is a 2004 catalog and they're still selling 2001 sets. Isn't that crazy? That's so crazy to me. Cause like even those Harry Potter sets with the yellow figures were 2002. This is one of the oldest sets in this whole catalog. Oh man, I had I had both of these when I was younger. Still love these sets, so classic. Um, just looking at them is classic as heck. Uh, what else we got? We have a Lego sports set right here, a free kick frenzy. Doesn't seem like there's too much football. I think those were more for the international audience. Uh, you got some keychains. Also up here we have uh, 
Jabba's prize, which I own, and Final Duel. I own that growing up. Great set. I actually might have two of those. I think my mom got me like two of those. Uh, I want, dang, you know, after this video, I'm going to literally search up Chill Speeder and buy this because this looks like a cheap set I could get with some cool figures. I haven't seen that before. 4742. It said that that set is more interesting than like any of the vehicles on the Alpha Team sets. Uh, look at this one. I want this one too. 4612 Jackstone Super Glider just kind of thrown in there. He goes fly. That's so cute. I love that design. What else we got? I this is 15 minutes and like we're not even like like you could just see this is so nostalgic for me. Like holy crap. I I can't this might be one of my longer catalog videos because I just love this era of Lego. Wow, okay, so Chamber of Secrets, originally $70. I always, I always thought it was 80. Save uh 20% and you get it for $55. Holy crud. I had to pay like 180 to get this recently, which was a pretty good deal in itself. Now it's usually 250. So that's Oh, man. So they had this one left over. Um, armored car action. This is actually one I want. So, I don't know. Um, I also kind of want to get this one, too. I like this police HQ. I think it looks interesting. It's, like, small. You can see it's, like, 50 bucks. And, of course, uh, Jabba's Palace up here, which is kind of in the corner. I've been trying to get that one. Just I want to get a Jabba's Palace. Like, I should have got the 2012 one, but then the whole controversy happened and everything like that. Uh, the Space Shuttle Discovery... That's so cool. This was the Lego Discovery Kids sets. Um, they had a few of these. They had some moon landing ones, but I guess that's the only one they have up there. All right, all right. Now we got to uh, Duplo, and apparently they had Door of the Explorer. I didn't even know that. Huh, interesting. I was going to make a video, I think, um, or like a sequel to Top 10 Themes Lego Stole or Lego Lost, because I think Mega started making Door of the Explorer sets, so I do actually remember those. Uh, but yeah, Duplo... Oh, here you go. Here, okay, here's where the fun begins. Isn't that, um, um, what, Spider-Man meme or something like that? Uh, or is it a prequel meme? I don't know. This is such a relaxed video. Uh, we got some junior sets and Jack Stone's right there, but, ah oh man. Okay, so I just got this one, the Cafe Attack. It's so weird. I don't know. I don't know why they made Spider-Man, uh, junior sets with this crappy just scale of figure. And then they also have this one up here. So there's only two, Doc Ock's Crime Speedy and Cafe Attack. But really, if you get Cafe Attack, you get all the figures of the Crime Spree, but you also get Peter Parker here. Which Peter Parker figure looks nothing like Tobey Maguire. So I do want to get that. All right, I do have that. I do want to get to that, I meant to say. Uh, we got some uh, Lego Belleville. And fun fact, I actually owned one of these sets growing up. And I guess it's 2004, so... Let's see. It was this one. Uh, yeah, this was actually a super cool parts pack. Didn't care for the figures, but the parts were cool. Oh, and they actually have this one too. Uh, I own this one as well. Yeah, uh, the dollhouse. Again, make fun of me in the comments, but uh, I love... Like, Lego doesn't make these houses for, like, you know, other themes. So I had to get this one. And looking back, it's not really the best. These plates are so, like... I don't know, they're not made to like connect to other stuff, so they were so specialized to use. The best part about this though was I got so many food pieces and those were so useful because the food pieces in Lego are one of my favorite like genres of pieces. It's kind of sad though that this was probably the biggest set I had when I was younger. So yeah, that's because I didn't get much big sets at all. Like that was 60 bucks, that was a lot. That was like my big Christmas gift. But again, I, I say it's, I shouldn't even say it's sad because it was, it was more funny. Uh, because I, I like this set a lot. It has some great pieces in there. Better pieces than so many other sets in this catalog. What else we got? USS Constellation. Um, these were some... That's a re-release. That was a Legends set. Uh, oh, there you go. There, I told you. There's, like, Apollo Lunar Lander. So that's kind of cool. Um, that was Discovery Kids. That was the one I was talking about. And the Red Baron. I was I mentioned that as well. And also we have the Wright Flyer. Uh, so these are some cool models that they don't really do too often. Uh, honestly, I'm not a fan of like the lego idea space stuff but like if they did like minifig scale like apollo lunar lander again stuff like that i would dig that because I, I like space exploration nasa stuff but like they do the they do that awkward scale for like that um you know saturn and also they did the woman of nasa which was just like a mini like give me some of that stuff like the lunar land like that stuff is so cool uh, this was another, you see, this is another re-release right here for Lego Legends. I don't know what's going on there. That's just a 
Technic D to C, and also the Statue of Liberty, which is $199. This goes for a lot nowadays still. We just got the Architecture Remix, or re the, the, the Architecture re, re Okay, the Architecture Release, and that one, I think, bumped down the price a bit. What else we got? The Ferrari F1 Pit Set. Uh, this one has a cool base plate. I haven't seen this before. Wow, that's a cool 32 by 32 base plate in the $30 set. Oh, appreciate that. Um, the Ferrari right there. Just some Ferrari stuff. Oh, this one I want so badly. This one goes for a lot too now. Um, they were selling this for a, a bit too. And I remember seeing this like, oh, or maybe it was on Brick Set in 2008. But uh, this is this creepy, like these minifigures look so creepy in my opinion. You see them? Because they're actual people. Michael Schumer and Rubens Barrichello. I don't know how to say that. But it was a $7 set. Okay. I'm making a list. I gotta get that Alpha Team set. I gotta get that Jack Stone set. And I gotta get this set. I'm gonna be purging eBay after this. I guess we're getting another haul coming soon, boys. All right. All right. This is 21 minutes. I can't believe it. Whatever. Uh, ooh, oh my gosh. This is why it's 21 minutes. Oh my gosh, this is why I saw this this page. I think I owe this catalog back in the day because this I remember seeing this page particularly. I'll tell you why. First off, this is the high speed train, and um, no, I didn't care for the train, but this character right here I wanted so badly because I want that hair in black. Never got. I still don't have that hair in black. It's a great hair piece again, black. It's reminding me of hair in black. But I would say this character, this is so, this is so stupid. Why am I even? Okay, so this character, we used to play like an RPG. And this character was going to be the mom of like the main character that was supposed to come in later in the story. I know, it sounds cheesy. It sounds ridiculous. But that was why I wanted this set. So I always wanted that set. 25 bucks. Can you believe that? 25 dollars bucks. They would never sell these like trains separately nowadays. And then this set I just freaking wanted because I had a pizza chef. Um, like this was before, again, this was... I must have had this catalog growing up because this was 2004 before 2005 when I got my first Lego Chef in the Lego City Advent calendar. Maybe it was, yeah, it was 2005, not 2006. And I was like, I want that Chef. I want that Chef. I want that Chef. And this build's cool, but I want that Chef. Never got either of those sets. Never got either of those sets. No, I'm not mad about it. Uh, cargo trains never, ever, like, interest me. Passenger trains are the best. Um... This is cool, though. This is like a Western train, like a classic Western train. This is super cool. Um, that looks pretty. Yeah, that's what it looks pretty. I was going to say pretty cool, but no, it just looks pretty. Oh, man. Now we're getting to some more sets that I just never got. Uh, this one right here. I want this set so badly. Train Engine Shed. I just love, like, this is such a cool idea to me. Like, I love the build of this. It's 70 bucks. It's a huge build. Like, I have no use for it. I don't. Oh, well, I have the Winter City, you know, Winter Village train, but it doesn't use the same system, so I wouldn't have a use for it. I just think this looks so cool as a set. Like, you could open it, split down the middle, sort of like the Blacksmith Shop, another set I really want. But, uh, yeah, this one goes for so much secondhand, especially sealed. Um, this one's kind of cool, too. I always like this set, too, but this one was the best. Uh, Mindstorms, kicking it. Uh... We got some uh, miniature builds. Uh, these, I think, was Ryan getting these recently? I don't know. He got some. No, those were the Kabaya Street Sweets ones. But now we're moving on to Star Wars. And look at that. The original Cloud City for $100. Wasn't this a beauty? Uh, I still think this one has a better structure than the new one because it's a strip. And because it's a strip, it makes it so easy to display. I don't know. Did it actually come with that landing pad, though? I guess that makes it not really a strip. But, like, I like this. I wish the new one was kind of displayed, like, in this way instead of that big, awkward, like, shaping because that makes it so hard for me to display. But I still want to get the new one, so. Uh, the Cloud City car right here, Twin Pod Cloud Car, I really want that. Um, that one I'm going to be looking for on eBay after this. But, yeah, you can see every other thing is just this crappy mini scale. And, like, the only minifigure scale sets are this, these two on this page, which both of those are some of my favorites that I don't have for LEGO Star Wars, at least. But don't worry, the next few pages are still LEGO Star Wars. And this one I had. Um, I actually still have the box for it somewhere. I don't know where. But, uh, yeah, I got that from Toys R Us back in the day. Uh, we also had the X-Wing Fighter, which this was cool because this has Yoda's Hut. It was our first Yoda's Hut. And our only Yoda's hut until this year. 
And I always wanted that just for Yoda's Hut because I love the design of Yoda's Hut in there. But I think the new ones kind of replaces that, so that's good. Uh, this was, was this a motorized at at? No, I think this is just a regular one. 2004. Was that our first hot at at? That might have been actually our first at at because this was really when I think this year was, yeah. You know, I just noticed this. 2004 was when we started getting a lot of Empire Strikes Back stuff, episode five stuff. We never really got it before then. But they have they had this. I don't know if it's on in this catalog, but they had the Millennium Falcon and it was episode five as well. Like I like when they re-release something, but it's based off a specific movie. So like instead of doing a general Millennium Falcon, they had the episode five Millennium Falcon. And they did do this with the new one, you know, the UCS one where they, they had the option to put it, so that was cool. Uh we also have the Moss Isley Cantina, uh a set I've wanted for a while. I have the two thousand I think I have, yeah, so there's three versions. I have the 2014 version, and I have the 2018 version. This one I want, though, so I can complete the collection of all of them. Uh, this one I see once in a while. I'm like, I have little interest in this. I just want this one guy right here. Uh, right, what is it? The Geonosian Zombie, right? Or something like that? Geonosian Soldier? I don't know. Uh, we also have these. Uh, I don't go to crap for any of these. Sorry. And then the Ultimate Collector Series. Oh, man, is this the last page? No. Uh, I was having so fun looking at this. The Naboo Starfighter. Um, this one is one of the most hardest to find sets nowadays. Because if you see, the pieces were silver. They chromed, look at this, chrome element. I've never seen those ever done, like any of these pieces. So this piece is so, this set is like one of the hardest to find sets ever. And it was only 40 bucks. Now it goes for like a thousand. Maybe I'm over exaggerating, but still. Then this bad boy right here can fit a lot of Star Destroyers in it. Or sorry, uh, TIE Fighters in it. Crap, I almost got that meme right. See, I'm, I'm late on all the memes. I don't get this. Uh, but this is $300. This Star Destroyer is $300. But I think... Did my cousin... My cousin might have had this one. I'm not entirely sure. He might still have it, too. Okay, and here's where it all ends. So we had uh, the Republic Blockade, Republic Rebel Blockade Runner, which, if I'm not mistaken, they did do one in 2009 with the Tantive, right? Um, but we need to get another one of those. We'll probably get them for, like, the anniversary sets next year. That was a D to C. I don't think that one fit minifigures. So, yeah, there was one in 2009. And also we had the Snowspeeder, which was uh, another UCS, which we just got our UCS Snowspeeder again this year, right? What was this year? And then there you go. That that was actually the one I was talking about. That's the Falcon. Uh, you can see that it's based off of Episode Five, which is it's a cool way to redo the Falcon because the last Falcon was two thousand, and they released this one in two thousand four. Actually, I guess there was no consistent because there was one in two thousand one two thousand four, then one in two thousand eleven, then there was one in two thousand and fifteen. It's like four year gaps. Only, and then there was one this. Year. Okay, no, there's just no consistent like year. Usually, there's a consistent year gap. Like Hogwarts used to be every three years. Uh, there's some other vehicles of Star Wars that was like every three years, stuff like that. City, it's like every three years, right? But this one's just like four years, three years, five years, skip this. It's, 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 this is funny stuff. But yeah, this was all based off of episode five, which I thought was so cool. And I think the back has the sellers like sending info, but it was just like Flatix Castle again. But wow, I had so much more fun than I expected looking through this. This was literally a blast to pass. I, I mean... You guys listen to me, like, go through all these meaningful sets growing up and stuff like that. So this was really fun to look through. I can't wait to look at the other one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this long video, long catalog video. But it's because these meant a lot to me. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.